A man trying to run from police literally runs into police, causing an officer's gun to go off on Cleveland's southeast side. News Channel 5's John Kosick was there, and he joins us live tonight with the latest. Yeah, Danita, that bullet ended up striking the man in the neck in a bizarre turn of events that involved a hit-skip accident yesterday and cheap gas. Gas at 3.37 a gallon may have been too good to pass up for the driver of this tow truck, but it wasn't the smartest of moves given the gas station is located across the street from 4th District Police. And the truck was carrying on its bed a motorcycle police say was involved in a hit-skip accident yesterday. The officer who spotted the bike radioed for backup, and with so many cops nearby, the truck was quickly surrounded. The suspect then exited the passenger side of the tow truck and attempted to run. As he was running, he stumbled and collided with the officer, and as a result of that collision, the officer's weapon discharged. The bullet hit the suspect in the neck. It looked like he was about to die right there. Courtney Green works at the gas station and ran outside. The boy did not have a gun at all, and um, he just fell back, and the dude, the white man was holding his head up, and then they put him on the bed, and he was hyperventilating. The suspect was rushed to Metro Health, and the officer, who was knocked to the ground, to St. Vincent Charity. Police have been on the lookout for the bike after they say it was involved in an accident in the Johnston Parkway area yesterday. They chased him for probably about an hour on foot. He was, you know, running different places they were looking for him. What isn't immediately clear is how the motorcycle disappeared from the scene of Sunday's hit skip. That'll be a part of the uh, investigation. Now the name of the suspect has not been released. He is hospitalized tonight in critical condition at Metro Health. The officer involved was treated and released from St. Vincent Charity for his injuries. Live in the newsroom, John Kosick, News Channel 5. All right, definitely more info on Good Morning Cleveland tomorrow. Thank you, John.